And we're back. All right, we did some Ronining. We did some murder mysterying. I think this one is uh, actually Age of Empires Z. So that's that's gonna be good for us. Wait, it is uh, Komemnos the Byzantine Restoration. Will there be voice acting? No. From the notes of Anna Komnene, daughter and sister of emperors. My father, Alexios Komemnos, must have known he was a dead man. He had, sent, he had been sent by the emperor to kill the usurper Melisenos. Alexios would not have hesitated to go to battle, but the rebel was married to Alexios' own sister. Rather than killing a member of his family, he chose to disobey his emperor. Uh oh, Spaghettio! You saw what happened when you do that in Haiku of the Ronin. Now he was summoned to the imperial court. Surely Alexios was facing his own death. But also surely there were many in the city who would support him. Alexios had heard the whispers in the market in the senate hall. The emperor was a weak old man who could only watch the empire be consumed by war and rebellion. He clung to the power only through the fear brought by the Varangian guard. Surely plots were forming to depose him. As he marched to meet the emperor, Alexios knew that it was time for decisive action. Let's be decisive and actioning. Um, Alexios, the Emperor summons you. He is not pleased with your refusal to put down the usurper Belisonos. Belisonos. Okay, so we are purple. Alexios has nah, stats. At least he's fast. Anyway, what are the objectives anyway? Report to the Emperor. Alexios must survive. As an emperor, you receive taxes in gold every spring. Trade this gold for resources at the market. Oh, okay. Conquer cities from your enemies to increase your tax revenue. Oh, man. Are we just, like, uh, going to get tributed resources when we tax people? Workers for building defenses and repairing ships can be trained at the market. These villagers cannot gather resources. Yep, seems like it. The Byzantine tech tree has been modified. Legionaries are trained at the barracks, and Varangians can be recruited at the monument. The Byzantines do not know how... do not have access to camels and knights. Three prominent men will offer objectives. The eunuch, the strategos, and the... Wait, the eunuch, the, str the strategos, and the patriarch. Each represents their own interests. The state, the military, and the church. But they will help you strengthen the empire. Monitor your legitimacy on a 0 to 100 scale. If, zero, if legitimacy falls below 50, rebellions will occur. You will lose legitimacy by losing men or buildings in battle and being wounded. Legitimacy can be restored by completing the eunuch's objectives or giving to the masses at the amphitheater by holding a chariot race. Note that the cost of these races will increase with each use. There are four chariot teams in Constantinople, white, green, red, and blue. If you favor the team that wins the race, you will get an additional boost to legitimacy. Complete Stratego's objectives to provide a temporary boost to your legionnaires and cataphracts. Complete the Patriarch objectives to receive cohorts of Western Crusaders. Alexios Komemnos begins as a Strategos, serving the Emperor Nikiporos at Constantinople. Much of the Empire has been conquered by rival people and taken by various rebel groups. Just east of Constantinople is Anatolia, controlled by the Seljuk Turks. They are fearsome horsemen who fight uh, as steppe lancers, Keshiks, and cav archers. Through their conquest of Arab and Persian lands, the Seljuks have uh, learned of heavier armaments and are well-equipped. Rather than fight directly, the Turks prefer to lure the Byzantines into the open steppe. To the west, Italy is controlled by the Normans. While their armies include footmen and archers, their heavy knights are their most powerful asset. Not even the Byzantine cataphracts can resist the charge of Norman cavalry. The Fatimids rule the city of Tripoli in the southeast, an important waypoint on the pilgrim's road to Jerusalem. Uh, their caliphate is plagued by civil wars, so they cannot expand aggressively. The city is well defended with infantry and mamluks, however. Oh, to the northwest, the river Damude marks the Roman frontier. Beyond the river are the Pechenegg steppe nomads, who fight as Tarkins and Kipchaks. Though the river barricades keep the Pechenegs at bay, a mass migration of the, this people will quickly threaten the Byzantine lands. Various rebels control cities and islands of Greece and the coastal cities of Anatolian Italy. Defending these rebels will restore uh, these cities to imperial control. The imperial legitimacy is allowed to, dec to decline. Pretenders will claim the throne. These claimants will command Byzantine-style armies of legionnaires, cataphracts, and siege. Oh boy. These Celts are a stinky and ungrateful lot. I remember when only true Romans walked these streets. Now all I see are foreigners. 
Damn furriners. Lexios, I know you've refused my order to kill your brother-in-law, but I have more important matters to deal with, and I respect your loyalty to blood. The rebels are you super challenging my rule. I cannot trust my own generals. I am giving you command to recruit an army to put down these rebels. I have entrusted the pay for the soldiers with one of my most trusted eunuchs. You will meet him at the camp outside the walls. Guess we go over there. Up, oh, Empress Maria. Alexios, it has been too long. When will I see you again? Oh no! Oh, my husband keeps you away from me. Listen, we can get rid of him. Go to the army camps and meet the eunuch there. He will tell you of our plans. Oh god, why, why am I freaking caught up in this? It's always freaking adulterous scandals. Eunuch. Alexios, I presume. The Empress has a strong but choosy appetite. If she desires you, then you too must have some worth in you. Listen, I used the Emperor's gold to bribe our political allies, but we'll need to rough and ready men. There are rebels nearby, that, but they wouldn't listen to me. You could convince them to join us. But don't let these brutes tear down the walls. We are liberators, not besiegers. Find a way to get them into the city. Harm no one or nothing besides the garrison. Um... Me, don't let this armor fool you. I am not a fighter. I am much better at working my magic in the court. Okay. Um. Oh god, we have a time limit. Um. Soldiers in the countryside. Okay. Yeah, don't destroy the city's gates. This map is really big. Oh crap. Enemies of Rome. Where are these people? Oh god, this is not correct. Oh, wait. Ah. I told you I'm not a fighter. Oh, what? These guys are neutral? Oh, no. This this ain't going so hot. Where are these goddamn soldiers? I mean, the Legionnaires are pretty good. Let's kill the Emperor's Rangian Guardsmen and recruit soldiers in the countryside. Oh my god. I guess we go south or something, and this is the wrong way to go. I feel like this is the wrong way to go. Yeah, I'm just going to restart. Wait, the Seljuk took her Tartars and not Turks. What? Yeah, the Varangian... Oh, the Varangian guards are actually just Harold Hadrada. <laughs> oh, or no, that one's a different Viking hero. But yeah, they're, they're real good. Hey, baby mama. Not now. Good old eunuch. Okay, yeah, so let's, instead of going north and west, let's go south and east. Oh, hey, some guys right here. Yeah, here are the crossbowmen. Do not go that way. 
I think you have enough men. Okay. No destruction. Now, how do we get over here? Up. Up. Hold on. Trying to micro, can't read. Shit. Okay, wait. It will help you, Alexios Kononos. Uh, because I trust your family name, but do not embroil us in too many losing wars. We have fought too many sons to... We've lost too many sons to the Turks and Normans. Okay. That's cool, man. That's cool. I guess neutral stuff doesn't attack transport ships? Ah, here we are. We have arrived. What's not? Rebels in the city. Um, we've bribed the guards at the inner gates, now they will open to us. Wait a minute, I'm getting clapped! Wait a minute! I thought he said we had enough troops! They're like, yeah, you have enough troops. I'm like, oh, okay. No. Let's just speed this bit up a little bit. Come on. Okay, here are the crossbowmen. Here are these guys. Okay, yeah. This this is all we get. And even though it's like, oh, even though I'm no strategos, I think you have enough men. I think that's just the Philadelphia's way of saying, uh, you got all the Gaia troops you're gonna get. But yeah, these guys don't have any upgrades. At least I won't lose anyone to the crossbowmen. Oh, wait a minute. Well, I don't need the light cav. And I guess I'll leave one of the crossbowmen behind? Oopsies. I the wrong button. Maybe I lured some of them out. Maybe it was an accidental 2000 IQ move. Also, why wouldn't they give me shipwright? Or, uh, not shipwright, dry dock. Like, why do I have to leave these guys behind? It seems silly.
Now, how can we approach without triggering them? Maybe to try and get high ground? I guess. Seems like our best bet. Wait. How am I supposed to do this? They have more stuff than we do! Now we're stuck. I'm so confused. Let's just get these guys... Let's check our hints again. We're not even Emperor yet. Um, All this stuff is like, once I'm... Uh, once I've already gotten the, the throne. So our Legionnaires are our best units, obviously, along with Alexios himself. And then the Cav Archers, and two Crossbowmen. So what we're up against is there's one monk that convert is going to try and convert us. And then the two Varangians, who are like super good, and some heavy pikemen. Oh, and two cataphracts. I feel like... Oh, and they have uh, Castle Age upgrades. And we have no upgrades. Maybe we just need to micro better? Focus the weak guys first. Oh, wait a minute. No, god damn it. We almost had it. We almost had it. I think we just need to focus the units better. I think Harold Hadrada was just uh, doing his thing. I almost had it. Okay, now to the ships. I still do think we need to bring Alexios himself, because he is still one of the best units we have. Ooh. 
Wait, how, why is this so different every time I do it? Like, last time we just almost had it. We had, like, one unit left to kill, and we had, like, a bunch left over. That's so going full times eight speed. I still think this is our best, like, group of units to transport over. I guess we didn't take the hill as quickly? Okay. I have no idea what I did particularly differently. Undone by my own wife and my most trusted friends. Leave me in peace and you will never hear from me again. May your reign be long, young emperor, but let us get down to business. Six men have sat on your throne the last 25 years. Five were deposed. Let us avoid the same fate, shall we? I have prepared two treatises, hints, and scouts for you to read. I strongly recommend reading them. Once you're finished... Uh, with that, it is time to build an army and restore the Empire. Okay, we read all this stuff already. Spring 1081. Okay, so we have control of, looks like, Constantinople itself, and that's about it. The Varangans are fearsome warriors, but most importantly, they serve as your imperial bodyguard. It would be help your legitimacy to recruit more of them. Just don't mind their stench. Well, where do I where do I recruit the Varangians? Like the Varangians are Vikings. I don't know. Anyway, we are Byzantines, of course. Oh, our navy is not good. And looks like... Uh, Strategos. Emperor, your commander in the northwestern Anatolia has not resported for some time. I suggest sending an army across the straits to find their camp. Okay. Oh, we don't even have Feudal Age upgrades. Well... I guess let's go and uh, find the army count in northwestern Anatolia. May the Lord Christ bless you and your reign, Emperor Alexios, to come with a recommendation. If we can find and save holy relics from the heathen, the Christians will know our piety. Duly noted. We'll go grab some relics if and when we can. Okie dokie. Where can... Oh, I guess we can land right here. The enemies of Rome are red. So let's not deal with them. And it's northwestern, so it should be, like, right around here, no? Okay. 
Uh, we have secured the camp, but the Turks are all around us more. Recruitment and defend this point, uh, and we'll search for survivors. Uh, we'll... Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. This is all happening too much. Completing Strategos objectives inspires your armies, your legionaries, uh, and cataphracts will fight harder for a short time. Oh, whoa, 160 HP. The Normans under Robert Guisard in our western flank. We should move quickly to Dyrrachium and defeating their invading armies. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so... Um... We're here in scenic Dyrrachium. Oh my god, there's so much going on. Okay. So... We have to find Lost Army, destroy the Norman camp. Okay. Now, I don't think I have to survive anymore. I'm sure I'll just, like, go to the castle or whatever. Anyway, let's get a Kashyyyk. Oh, yeah, we only have... The Brangians are mercenaries of the north. They come from a martial, martial culture, culture, so they don't require training. Only a little gold. Bring them into your service. Well, they're expensive. They're 200 gold, man! Okay, and I'm not taking down the castle like that. How do I get more resources? I mean, how do I, I mean, I, I get them from taxes, but how do I do that? A 300 pop limit? Because right now I don't have much of an army to do uh, much of anything. This year's taxes have been collected. Oh, so it's all gold. Well. Let's get some Vrangians. Because they told us to! Crap, where'd my guy go? Oh, here he is. Do I have Cav Archer left? Something with some LOS? That's the Keshek line of sight. Yeah, these guys are just straight up elite berserks. Okay, and not over here. So it seems like taxes every year are just worth a thousand gold. Like, that's really not that much to work with. But I guess securing more cities and stuff will gain us more income. But it looks like they're not attacking Dyrrachium too much right now. Which is, uh, where the... Me and my big mouth. Well, we do have Byzantine fires, so that's pretty nice. Oh, uh, the Turks... But yeah, Drachium was in Attila 2. It's one of the cities you could attack. Or they, they held the Hun prisoners at the castle. Um, everyone's in Castle Age, right? Except the peasants and the Pechenegs. Also, the score of everyone is a lot higher than me, so confidence isn't high.
Wait a minute. Is there a hero in here? No, looks like just 11 spearmen. Oh, come on. Is there two tons here? No, there aren't. That's BS, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. The lure us away from our walls into the open step to get butchered. Okay. Well, the missing army isn't this way. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I guess they were force released anyway. But, uh, yeah, I don't know how to save that dock. Oh, yeah, I can make villagers. Um, they can't gather resources, but I believe they can build stuff. Oh, here are a bunch of impaled dudes. That's not a good sign. A wait. Okay, the cataphracts are are super cataphracts again. I guess this is the missing army, or what's left of them. Okay, so how are cities that are conquered or whatever? <sighs> by losing men in battle and being wounded, legitimacy can be restored by completing the units of objectives or by giving to the masses at the amphitheater. Um, okay. Here is taxes have been collected. Well, I definitely need some more gold. So it doesn't seem like this really offers a whole lot of, well, anything. Hardy Thracian farm boys and Anatolian shepherd sons make good Roman soldiers. They're not quite Caesar's legions, but they will fight in rank to protect your soldier. What? What what does that have to do with anything? Okay, I guess let's make some berserks and go west. Let's go across the Dardanelles. Oh, do I benefit my, from my own upgrades? No, I don't. So I don't think we lose if we lose Alexios, but also I think we lose legitimacy if he gets wounded or whatever. Whoa, we're losing legitimacy. Why are we losing legitimacy? Just feels like there isn't a whole lot to do. Like, we have so few resources. I think the Legionnaire is slowing everyone down. Wait, can't we get them at the barracks? 60-30. Oh, okay. Rebellious Bulgarians have set ambushes in the Balkan passes throughout their armies to show them the Roman might. Oh, I'm liking the Malik Berserks right now. 
Like, Legionnaires are pretty good, but the Berserks have 112 HP, <laughs> and they regen. I don't actually know if we win this. It depends on, I think, whether or not they have stirrups. I don't think we're winning this. You must improve your legitimacy or a pretender will claim your throne. Uh, losing... I will offer objectives to improve your legitimacy. Legitimacy can also be improved at the amphitheater. Well, like, okay, defeating people is great for legitimacy, but, like, how do I do that when I don't have any resources? Like, I don't have enough tax income, man. <laughs> like, I have 13... I have 11 spearmen, Alexios, and a transport ship. And no resources. I mean, I had to spend a bunch of them right away just to get, like, basic upgrades. Can't even host a chariot race or whatever. Do we have a siege workshop? Okay, I do have a siege workshop, so maybe if I can get through the Balkan Mountains and get some rams over here, maybe I can take down this castle? But again, I need resources to do that! All right. Um. Um. Oh, no. I guess let's train some legionaries. I mean, I guess this camp to the east is kind of screwed, but... What can you do? I am really not liking this so far. It just feels like I, I just don't have anything to do, and it's just... If I do make progress, it's so, so slowly. We have a civil war on our hands? <gasps> Holy crap! Um... What? Um... Like, I'm in the realm of making, like, ten units total right now. What, are these guys just gonna kill me? All right, we're gonna try this one more time. Then, then I'm calling it for this video. Oh, I have to go through this whole annoying beginning bit. What?
Oh, wait, now I have to freaking win that first fight again. Okay. These guys. These guys. This guy. These guys. These geese are literally just blocking the pathing of these units. Okay, here come the city guards. Dally. How is it these fights go so freaking differently? Doki. That will have to do with like hill bonuses. Okay, again. <sighs> okay. Yep. Okay, so we need to be, like, ultra-turbo-cost-efficient. I f guess crossbowman? It's like just getting all these upgrades is so expensive. I don't want to go take that camp. Well, actually, wait. I forget if we got some units there. Oh, whoops. 
Oh, these guys at least have uh, Bodkin. See if we can just scout the uh, lost army over here. And then run away! Oh, uh, rip that guy. Well, not a whole lot I can. Like, there's just not a whole lot I can do in general. <laughs> We should move quickly to Darachium and defeat their invading armies. I guess we go here? We do have to face, uh, you know, a decent amount of uh, boyars. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I can't even go to the next ones. I can't even get to the, the actual boy ours. Or, uh... Whatever the Bulgarian unique unit's called. That name is escaping me. Konix, there we go. Not boyars, that's the Slav unique unit. You dumb dumb wolf. Wait, did they change the player name? It used to be like Romai Romoi or something, and now it's just pretenders. Oh boy, this year's taxes have been collected. I don't know, can I get for a hundred food? Sure, let's get padded archer armor. Maybe I should just go like mass monks or something. It seems like the enemies of Rome just chill. Because you can see they're actually blocking the uh, Seljuks from attacking us here. Which, you know, I'm not going to complain about. That, I will. Alright, onward and upward. Yeah, we're not winning this. I 
I think. Maybe. I mean, our Berserks are pretty darn awesome. And they definitely don't have stirrups. Do I have Cataphract bonus versus Infantry? Maybe. No. Well, can I make it to frickin' Durachium? Okay. Oh god, we're gonna lose legitimacy too, as soon as we lose this dock. And you don't have any resources to repair it. <laughs> or when I lose this watchtower, one of the two. God, this is so annoying! <laughs> I mean, unless I'm going to conquer this castle with 11 spearmen and Alexios here, I'm not too optimistic. Do I just have to speed up until we get taxes again? Even Dash disapproves. Like, holy shit, man. Am I just supposed to be waiting this whole time? Oh, my god. Let's get a couple rams. And a couple of Rangians. And a monk, why not? You can make the ram go faster, guys! Yay! Like, this feels kind of like Manzikert. Uh, maybe some of the other scenarios I'm not remembering off the top of my head. Uh, what was it? Avalo 3, where, like, all you just do is wait. There isn't anything active you can do when you don't have enough army to attack the enemy. And you don't have enough resources to make more army. Ooh, maybe I can convert this guy. I'll take it. Like, what's the point of having 300 pop if I have 19? Well, I guess max pop. Wanted to see what kind of uh, dudes they had. Oh, they have a pretty nice sized navy, too. How? How do I improve my legitimacy without resources? By completing the unit's objectives or giving to the masses of... Yeah, but I don't have any... <laughs> I don't have any money! <laughs>
Our only objective is to recruit more Varangians, which also cost legitimate or er, cost money. Like, what are some co like cost-free uh, ways we can get legitimacy? Of course, they have murder holes. Let's not do that. Oh, not my rams. Yeah, because they have murder holes. It's going to take a lot of stuff to, like, kill this castle. It's on a hill. But I guess I need to hold an amphitheater race or something. Which I believe is 400. Yeah. Let's convert this guy. Block him. Cute. Oh, they had this. Okay, let's hold a chariot race. Back the white team, why not? One team caught fright. Um. Oh, okay, we chose the wrong team, but at least we got some legitimacy. Okie dokie. Just speed this up again. Oh no 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 no. Oh my god. <laughs> yep, there are more dudes over here. Wish to make the journey to Jerusalem, but the road to Tripoli is blocked by heathens. Um, you must launch a crusade to take Tripoli to clear the road. The Turks don't attack our cities, conquer the mountain, and said they wish us to lure. Okay. Anyway, hopefully this is enough. Still have okay legitimacy. I guess let's recruit some more Varangians. Get that guy. Also, let's go not be on low ground if possible. And let's get another monk. Because at least you can convert some of the Bulgarian units. Battle. 
There we go. Our Berserks are getting a little bit better upgraded too. So let's all gather over here and take down the Bulgarian stuff that's over here. Converting a couple Konix might be really nice. Konix, Konix, I don't know. Wait, and actually we have to defeat the Fatimids? Oh my god. Like, like I can do that. Is there a way to increase tax income? You receive golden taxes every spring. Conquer cities from your enemies to increase... Okay. I don't think we conquered any cities. How much are the chariot races now? 600? Okay, it's not that bad. It's only 200 increase. See where the Bulgarian Konics are? That is a Manganel. Okie dokie. couple of these guys. I do not worry. What? Can I not be such a drunkard? Did I not clear out everybody? Okay, I guess I need to hold another goddamn chariot race. Go the green team! Reigning champion and charioteer drove his team to victory. Some commented that the Emperor was foolish to doubt the champion, but people were too fat and happy to really care. So did... Uh, to doubt the champion? Okay... I guess we didn't back the winner again, then? Whoa, that was spammy. You were spazzy. Okay, looks like there are some cavalchers. Oh, whoops. Well, I tried. One of my monks can escape with his life. We can call that a win. So you get everybody. Destroy the Bulgarians and the Balkans. Are there more further south? Let us see. Our legitimacy's all right, though. Oh, I don't want that. Want... Get some more Varangians. I mean, in addition to being really good, you know, getting elite berserks is pretty nice, even if they are expensive. Um, they do have 112 HP. And uh, it gets towards my recruit 20 Varangians. Ah, there's a... There's more over here. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell because... They're all just sort of generic enemies of Rome. Go 
but these guys aren't too hard to take out. Hey, it's a city. Oh, I guess the Bulgarians have the city here. Oh, I need to uh, grab the rest of my army then. But yeah, it's kind of hard to tell when, you know, how do I know which are Bulgarians and which are whoever else? Ah, here my brain gets. Oh yeah, and they also have murder holes, because reasons. Okay, our legitimacy is still fine. No one's hit Imperial Age yet, so I guess we're fine on that count. Haven't discovered any relics, though. I hope, like, with each additional city we capture is, like, a sizable gold income increase. Ooh, more conics. Let me get at least one of them. I really not even get one of them? Also, the, uh, you know, the Berserks regen, because they're, you know, Berserks, which is nice. Oh. Our dude has 10 HP. These guys should clean them all up. Again, 112 HP on these Berserks. Awesome. Before I spend any gold, I want to see what I need to do in here to get the city, whatever city this is. Uh, oh, it's Thessaloniki. Okay, so it's 500 more gold each time, which is nice. Okay, now things are at least picking up a little bit. Let's get a, another monk and a bunch more Varangians. Because we need 20 for to complete the quest. Okay, so we win, I guess, when we maintain 90-plus legitimacy and have defeated the Normans and the Seljuks. So just getting a sort of geographical understanding of where we're at right now. These would be the Balkans. This is in Albania. This is in Northern Greece. Let's go see if uh, Athens is down here. Okay. 
because Constantinople should be fine. They're just attacking a fortified wall. Just seeing what's going on. Oh, looks like, uh... There were some dudes over here. I assume there's gonna be an Athens. Look at us. Thriving at 21 population. I feel like we should be told where the cities are, right? Wait, where are the rams? I lost the rams? Oh, no, they're on their way. Duh. Wait, how do these guys have bloodlines? They're Byzantines. That's not how this game works. Whatever my chat says. Maybe at the Acropolis there'd be a... A relic or something? Just some more ran random enemies. Sears taxes have been collected. Lovely. Okie dokie. Let's go get seven more Varangians. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That way we, we complete the objective for the eunuch. Okay, let's see what's over here. It is kind of annoying that we like are stuck using fire galleys and not like getting fire ships. Okay, there is nothing over here. So I guess Athens... Athens is like right here, I believe, historically. Geographically. So Athens seems pretty rip. Yeah, these guys are pretty awesome. Uh, inferior bodyguard making rebellion less likely now. We just need the perfume to get rid of this Varangian stench. Well, don't be so judgmental, Mr. Eunuch. Ever think about that, huh? Oh, 77 legitimacy right now. We're fine. I guess this is Sparta? Damn, we're already an hour and 15 minutes into this video. In like five minutes, I'm probably going to cut it here. Or cut it there. And uh, just finish part two uh, at a later time. I don't want this video to drag on forever and ever. I guess I can never get Imperial Age, because I don't have a town center or anything. I 
I don't know if these guys spawn anywhere. Mistros. I guess that's Sparta. Um, improving it requires some expense. Rewards are definitely worth it. Well, how do I research Imperial Age? At the Hagia Sophia. Oh, and it has the Byzantine discount, too. Sick. Okay, this is fine. <laughs> this is fine. Everything's fine. We'll just wait for uh, the 1089 taxes to come in. It should be 2k gold, and that should give us imp. Still have yet to find any relics, though. I guess they could be over here, but I doubt it. Maybe I can get some better warships in Imperial Age or something. I guess it's worth sending a scout over once I have the resources, just to see what's going on. I remember there being some Kipchaks over here in the north, so we can try and take those guys out. That way we can have the Balkans mostly stabilized before heading over into Anatolia. And taxes have been collected. Okay, Imp is on the way. And I'm not going to spend any resources on anything else just yet. There are Danube marks of frontiers of the Empire, but behind these barricades are the fearsome barbarians who desire nothing but plunder and killing. Well, then let's not deal with them. I see these are the, the Pechen eggs. But I feel like the barricades are going to uh, be destroyed themselves at some point. It's over here. Is this little... I don't even know. I guess there really isn't anything over here. Like, is there at least a relic or something? No? Yeah, we'll see what happens when I, once I get imp, and then I'm going to end this part of the video. These improvements to the Imperial Administration will help the army. You can now train legionaries much quicker. Oh, now we can research War Galley. And then we just have our normal array of imp upgrades, I assume? Yep, seems good. Alright guys, this will be for next time. So, yep, I'm just going to save this game. And uh, we'll pick it up in the next video. So, we thank you guys for watching and see you next time.